Hello guys, welcome to Amazing Engineering and today in this tutorial of Open Foam we will see the differences between the solvers piece of foam and simple foam. Both of them are used for turbulent and laminar flows, but while simple foam is a steady solver, piece of foam is an unsteady solver. It means that while simple foam shows us only the final result of, this, of the simulation, Thanks to piece of foam, we can see how the simulation evolves step by step. In order to understand this difference, let's set von Karman vortices case. According to von Karman, when a stocky body like a cylinder or a sphere is left by a free stream, behind, behind the body there will be the formation of a series of vortices which move with a certain, a certain frequency. We can see this phenomenon in everyday life because it causes the waving of the flex. So, let's create a work directory, I called it Von Karman, and let's create the geometry and the domain using Salom. So, let's go to Geometry field, in File Properties, set meters as length units, and now we have to create our two-dimensional domain around the cylinder. For this purpose, let's set a series of points. The first one has as coordinates minus 1, 1. Then minus 1, minus 1. 3, minus 1 and at the end 3, 1, apply and close. Now let's link the four these four points with a series of segments. So let's go to straight line. We start from the fourth vertex and select the other one, for example the third vertex. We have to follow a certain order. Apply, select another point, another one, and the last one. Now let's create a circle which represents our cylinder. Its center is the origin by default and its radius is 0.1 meter length. Now let's create a face which will be extruded along the third direction. So let's go to new entity, build face and select the old domain. Apply and close. Now let's extrude this face. So let's go to new entity again, generation extrusion. Select the face. The extrusion vector is z-axis and the extrusion is 0.1 meter length. Let's call our domain on Karman and click on apply and close. So this is our domain. Now, now let's create the graph both for simulation and for the mesh. So click on create graph. The first face graph is called that. And we select this face. Then outlet. And we select this face. From back, and we select the front and the back face, up and down, and cylinder.
So these are the graphs, these are the graphs we will use for the simulation. Now let's create the graphs for the mesh. The first one is the source face and we select the back face. Destination face and we select the front face and at the end the segment graph one element pages and we select these segments. apply and close. Now let's go to mesh field, create the mesh, selecting the domain, we can call it bond karma mesh and it is an extrusion 3D. Apply and close. Now let's create the sub meshes. For the first one select destination face, let's call it destination and it is a projection 2D then source face, let's call it source select netgen 1D 2D and as hypothesis netgen 2D parameters we set 0 as minimum size and 0.05 as maximum size. Click on OK, apply, and the last one is referred to one element edges. We call it one element. We set Y discretization and as hypothesis number of segments. Setting one segment. Apply and close. Now let's compute the mesh. So our mesh is composed by around 7000 volumes and this is the mesh. Now let's import the graphs from geometry, inlet, outlet, from back, up and down and cylinder. And now we can export our mesh as a UMV file. We can call it von Karman mesh and let's save it in our work in our work directory close salon let's go to our work directory and now with bash on ubuntu application we have to reach the our work directory so change directory mnt c users admin desktop von karma now let's write ideas umv to form command and select von karma mesh let's go to polymesh polymesh directory and in boundary file let's set our boundary condition so we set patch type for inlet and outlet, empty type for home back because we are analyzing a two-dimensional simulation, symmetry type for up and down or symmetry plane, it depends on the open phone version you are using and wall type for the cylinder. In, in consta directory you can also find transport and turbulence properties files. In transport, in transport properties you can set the kinematic viscosity of the fluid, for example this is the kinematic viscosity of the air, and in turbulent properties 
you can set a laminar or a turbulent flow. If you are choosing a turbulent flow, you have also you have also to choose a turbine model for the simulation. For example, I set K epsilon model for this case, but I will explain you the turbulent flows in another video. Now let's go to zero directly in velocity file. We set a fixed value boundary condition for the inlet, for example, 10 meters per second along x direction, empty boundary condition for front back, zero gradient for outlet, symmetry for up and down, and no slip for cylinder. So the velocity on the cylinder will be zero meters per second. In pressure file, We set zero gradient for inlet, empty for front back. We can set zero, uh, zero, zero as, uh, as a fixed value for the outlet, symmetry type for, uh, for up and down, and zero gradient for the sleeper. These three files are used to set the turbulence parameters. For example, NUT is uh, the kinematic turbulent viscosity of the case. We can set the calculated boundary condition for inlet and outlet, and zero as a start point, empty for front back, symmetry for up and down, and nut wall function for cylinder. K is the turbulence kinematic energy of the case, in inlet, we have to set the value of uh, turbulent, inten turbulent uh, intensity energy, for example, 0 0.2. Empty boundary condition for front back, zero gradient for outlet, symmetry for up and down, and for cylinder, a wall function. At the end, let's go to epsilon file, which represents the dissipation of energy. In inlet, we have to set the value of mixing length, empty boundary condition for front back, zero gradient for outlet, symmetry for up and down, and epsilon wall function for cylinder. The values of these three parameters depends on the case you are analyzing, but for this case, their values are not so important. Now let's go to system directory and in control dict we have to set our simulation parameters. So the solver, the solver is a piece of foam. We set 0 as start time and 10 as end time. We have to set a little delta t when, when we are using piece of foam. For example, if we set 0.25 second as delta t and if we try to run the simulation we know that the simulation is not running while if we if we set 0.00025 second as delta t The simulation is running, so we have to pay attention to the delta t you are using and you have to set a very little delta t value. Our write interval is 1000 and as put right we set 0. It doesn't mean that uh, there will be no put write directory during the simulation. It means that open foam during the simulation uh, will make a series of put write directories after it, uh, any certain iteration. In order to know the number of, the number of put write directories will be, ma will be made, we can multiply write interval, so 1000, and the delta t. So, 
0.0025. So OpenFoam will make will, will make a put write directory any 0.25 iteration. So now let's start the simulation. Okay, now as you can see we have a series of put write directories and let's see the result in the ParaView. Click on apply, choose the physical property, for example velocity. You can change the color the color mapping, for example blue to red rainbow. And now let's start the simulation. As you can see, we can watch how the solution evolves during the simulation, thanks to piece of foam. Okay guys, this is all for today. I invite you to subscribe on my channel and see you for the next video.